Mistakes are normal in Hell's Kitchen, as even the best chefs in the show's history make mistakes from time to time. And usually when mistakes are made, the chefs say yes chef and move on, which is the right thing to do. But sometimes, whether it's due to not wanting to own up to their mistake, or maybe their brain is just simply fried from the elements of Hell's Kitchen, chefs have given some very interesting excuses throughout the years for their mistakes. What's going on guys? I'm Flint Masters, and today, we'll be looking at the worst excuses made by chefs in Hell's Kitchen history. Before we begin, if you enjoy unique Hell's Kitchen content such as this, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as this is the place to be if you're an HK fan. With all that said, let's take a look at some of the most laughable, dumb, and flat out worst excuses in Hell's Kitchen history. Bloody hell, here I go again. Injuries are of course no laughing matter in Hell's Kitchen, as the last thing we want to see is a chef having their dream being taken away from them due to a simple mistake in the kitchen, and it looked like that was the case for Gia and Jared, as both of them sustained serious injuries on their fingers, to the point where it looked like they might have needed to be pulled from the competition. Or, well, that's what they at least claimed after they were struggling during service. Get a refile! And it's not even sliced all the way through. Sorry, I cut my finger off, chef. Sorry. You cut your finger off? Yes. Show me. Where's the cut? Where's the cut? Right here. Where? It's not there. Where's the cut? I'm squeezing it, chef. Just... It's not gonna oh bleed. Oh my god. Someone need a medic? No, nobody needs a medic. Can I get a medic? Sorry? Medic? Where is it? It's right there. It won't stop bleeding, chef. Hey, Mina, come here. He's bleeding to death. He's bleeding to death. You got a bigger cut on the end of your Emergency, emergency. Medic! Where was the cut? I'm not sure. I didn't see the cut. Thank you so much. Yep. Professional medic can't even find a cut. Get out! While Gerard's cut was imaginary, now he knows what it really is like to get cut. I've said this before, but the opening night dinner service of season 11 is super entertaining, with Ramsay kicking out 12 total chefs. One of those chefs was Danielle, after she got confused by the order. Do you need the one for the redo and the two chicken and two Wellington? Or do you just need the two chicken and two Wellington? Get out! Well, in defense of Danielle, at least she had a valid excuse for sucking, despite it being rather pathetic. I'm trying. I've never done this before. I've never worked in a brigade before. There's hardly any restaurants that work that way. Danielle is making sure everybody knows she hasn't worked in a brigade system before. We know. We know this already. You guys, how many people have worked in a true brigade before? No matter what you think about Nedra, you can't deny how passionate she is about cooking and Hell's Kitchen in general. So after she was in serious danger of going home early due to a very weak breakfast service, she came up with one of the most laughable excuses in Hell's Kitchen history to save herself. Who couldn't flip a pancake, Jacqueline? Nedra couldn't flip a pancake, chef. Is that right, Nedra? I can flip a pancake, chef. The spatula that I was given, I couldn't flip it with the spatula. So you're blaming the spatula? You can't flip a pancake with a rubber spatula. Like, you can. Jacqueline, flip this one. It's ready. One of the more infamous excuses in Hell's Kitchen comes from Ben in Season 4, as he had quite the interesting excuse for being such a crap cook. You can't cook a salmon. Just a lot of pressure, different kitchen, different... different cooking techniques that I'm used to. The salmon's raw, and she requested it medium. And what do you say? Different techniques. Off. One of the biggest mistakes a chef can make is serving up raw chicken, as that's one of the few foods that can actually kill customers. In fact, this mistake was so bad that it got Garrett sent home over Virginia, despite being the strongest chef throughout the season. But in fairness to Garrett, he had a logical reason for serving up undercooked chicken. Garrett, the chicken is raw. Yes, chef. You're gonna kill someone. Do you know it's raw? I was just doing it because it's faster, Chef. That's the only reason. Faster? You've always got a f***ing answer for everything. I'm just trying to... Shut it! You shouldn't be in wine! I mean, hey, Garrett does have a point. I'm sure when the customer's in the hospital, they'll at least be happy that they got their chicken a couple minutes earlier. Garrett, take off your jacket. You served me raw chicken. I can't accept that. 
Ah, Hell's Kitchen Season 1, where the show was more so a strategy game as opposed to an actual cooking competition. For those of you that don't know, the majority of contestants this season weren't actually pro chefs, with Wendy Jo being one of them, as she was an account manager. And let's just say her lack of kitchen knowledge showed in the third episode of the season, as she forever integrated herself into the Hell's Kitchen meme lord. Why is the spaghetti not in there yet? The water's not at a rolling boil. The water's not boiling. Why did you put cold water in there? I thought cold water was supposed to boil faster than hot water. What? And honestly, I don't even think this is an excuse. I think Wendy actually believed this, which makes it all that more embarrassing. Frank is one of the most despised contestants to ever enter Hell's Kitchen due to his sexist behavior and overall mean personality. At the episode three reward challenge, he didn't follow the instructions, thus costing the blue team a point. But Frank's a military man. I'm sure he'll understand his mistake and to respect his opponent. And a little bit of liquid smoke. Liquid smoke? Yes, just, just okay. a drug. I didn't ask you to get crazy. I just wanted you to cook what was on your back. Here's the thing. Had you followed the recipe, that would have been a near perfect burger. Ashley, congratulations. Thank One you, point chef. to the red team. She only won because I lost. That's not a winner. That's, that's not a winner. The signature dish challenge is the first chance to truly show your potential to Chef Ramsay, so it pisses him off to the max when chefs put very little effort into their first dish, with the worst of the worst being when chefs use canned food. And this was the case for Jonathan in season 9, as he used canned pineapple for his dish, and then he proceeded to give Ramsay a totally logical explanation for his laziness. The pineapple looks like... Can? Yes. And you Limited time today. Limited time? 45 minutes? Limited time? Yes. You're so full of shit, even your eyes are brown. You can fuck off now. Serious? I'll pay for the ticket. But the surprise, in fact, was you opened it out of a can. That's what pissed me off more than anything. I'm not even gonna taste it. One of the more forgettable twists Hell's Kitchen has ever added is the punishment pass from Rookies vs. Veterans. The reason why it is so forgotten was due to the winner Brett using it literally after the first challenge of the season. But instead of simply admitting that he didn't want to do the punishment, he told his teammates that he was doing this so he could spy on the rookies to get information. I best believe that I'm going out there to infiltrate this motherfucker red team too to find out their strengths, weaknesses, who's beefing with each other and come back with all necessary information from my mother team because you know how loyal I am to my people. Brett looks ridiculous right now. I don't give a shit about the rookies. I give a shit about us as veterans. We're screwing up big time. I hope the day of riding horses and dressing up like a cowboy was worth it, Brett, because you sure could have used that punishment pass later in the season when the men's team kept losing all those challenges. Can I call my daughter for a lifeline, please? None of it makes sense. Remind me never to do tissue pom-poms, my daughter. That looks nothing like the picture. This is ridiculous. When it comes to the king of excuses in Hell's Kitchen, I think Scott from season 7 takes the throne. However, he didn't make up petty or really dumb excuses. He truly believed that the reason for his crappy performance in Hell's Kitchen was due to the fact that he was too talented compared to everyone else, and their lack of talent was bringing him down. No, I am not exaggerating. Too busy uh, trying to pay attention to what everybody else is doing and trying to lend a helping hand, uh, and not worrying about myself. That should have been like the easiest station of the night for sure. We both up, plain and simple. Well, the, like the difference is I put in a hard ass effort from the start. You didn't. I'm the only one that works in fine dining restaurants. I'm the only one that has experience. There's like no experience here at all. I certainly am the best cook on the red team, but when you're working with teammates that aren't as qualified to be there as you are, it makes it hard. In season 12, Anton had arguably the greatest downfall in Hell's Kitchen history, as he went from possibly being one of the greatest chefs to ever step foot in Hell's Kitchen, to not even making it to the Black Jackets. And while he did have his fair share of mistakes at the end, the main thing that stood out to many fans and Chef Ramsay was the amount of excuses he made. I mean seriously, after his first bad service, he was literally blaming people for the wildest of things. Oh, God, dropping oil. Of course it was my fault. I've seen it all now in Hell's Kitchen. I think I might have seen it all. But his worst excuse came when he was switched to the Red Kitchen and complained that their oven was causing him to make mistakes. Yes, you heard that right. Anton, these are not a little over. That's way over, yes. Obviously, I screwed it up with the oven. Next door's oven, I got it down pat. This one, I screwed it up. 
I just don't understand making excuses for an oven or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Normally you... for next door, it's 18 minutes, you have five minutes on the side. I let it rest for Stop another five minutes. Stop yelling at me. I've told them it's 14 minutes. This oven you said is 14 minutes on the Wellington? 14, 400. I understand That's that, it. Chef. Pull it together. I have it together, Chef. Don't you talk back to me. Don't you ever I'm talk back to me. I'm not talking back to you. Yes, you are. Pull it together. Shut up and say yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Thank you guys so much for watching this compilation of the worst excuses made in Hell's Kitchen. If you enjoyed it and want to see more fun content such as this, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as every little bit of support helps the channel as we're building a great community here. With all that said, take care everyone and leave those excuses at the door. Get out of there.